Hello guys, good morning. It's the day after Christmas. <gasps> Excuse me, that's disgusting. Um, I can't believe I would do that and I'm a girl. Gross, no one burps. I'm sorry, I love you, but when you burp, it's disgusting. I get those comments sometimes. Sorry, I burp, sometimes I burp. A lot of times I burp. Hi guys. So Christmas is over, but it's not because tonight we're going to a Christmas lights drive-through show, which I'm very excited about. I wanted to do a Christmas drive-through for a while now. I've wanted to do it kind of all of December, but we haven't had time. And then my parents were in town and I was like, oh, we can do it with my parents. And everything was kind of sold out before Christmas. So I found one for today, which is after Christmas. I thought, oh, I'll get that. So I got a ticket to drive through a light show and my parents left this morning. So I'd messed up the timing because I thought they were staying one more night and they're not. So, so but that's okay, Corey, Rachel, me, Eric and the baby will go do it, so that'll be fun. So the craziest thing happened to me last night, and I did vlog it, but I was kind of like an emotional disaster, so then I didn't put it in the vlog, so I thought I would talk about it today. Basically last night, I was editing my Christmas video. If you haven't seen it, go check out our Christmas day. It was really fun, but in it, I showed some home videos because we watched home videos yesterday on Christmas. Okay, I'm pausing my story because Eric is about to put a drill into an iPad. Oh. Basically, he has an iPad where the charger was in it, like where the charger goes in, you know, or in here, and then it snapped off. So the charger part is in the phone, but it's not attached to anything and we can't get it out. So he read online that someone found like the smallest drill that they had and drilled it into that a little bit and then they could get out. So he's literally trying to drill through an iPad exactly. right now. Like, oh my God, I think he's actually doing it. Is he just shoving it further in? Well, there's nowhere for it to go further in. Why is this of interest? Are you insane? The answer is yes. Did you ruin it? No, I didn't ruin it. I don't know how they were like this thing, like hooked. Lovey. Let's see. It's yeah. like in there and I'm like, I, w I wonder if I can like yeah, break it with here. the drill and like get it out. No, don't break it. No, like break the little piece. Like break the oh, little piece up so that it'll. Let me see if I can find a needle. Anyway, while he's drilling into an iPad, I'm gonna tell you the story I was gonna tell you. And Eric's just gonna listen, which feels very odd to me, but. It feels like he's eavesdropping. It feels like I'm talking to a pal and he's like eavesdropping. Oh, so I wanna ask him a question about something I experienced last night that I came into our room to tell you about love, but you were already asleep. So you don't know this yet. Maybe you've experienced this. I have the weird experience. I was editing my vlog from yesterday and in it there's home videos from my childhood. So I was editing some of the childhood videos in there and there was this one video where my dad was performing and when he was done performing my family members were clapping for him and I heard my grandpa say yay like I heard my grandpa's voice and I guess I haven't really heard his voice in a long time obviously because he passed away a long time ago and my reaction to hearing my grandpa say yay was <coughs> It like <laughs> guttural, like gut sob, like tears exploded out of my eyes. It wasn't even like I had a thought like, oh, I miss my grandpa so much and then started getting weepy. It was like the sound of his voice. It felt like I got punched in the stomach and immediately tears started flowing out of my face. Yeah, I know that when you've lost someone, like as time goes on, you worry. You can picture the person, but you like the sound of their the sound of their voice. You're that you're gonna like forget the sound of your voice. Like I was like I struck with when I was somebody, and then it was so it was like an instant like bleh, like it was like a vomit tear. It was like my eyes vomited tears out of no. But it wasn't like I was sobbing. It was like it just went like bleh, like I choked on my own tears coming out of my eyeballs. And then I was done. I didn't sit there and sob. It was just like that was my body and my brain and my heart's reaction to hearing his voice because it was like I heard his voice and then I heard my my other grandfather's voice who passed away when I was like 12. My grandpa, I was really, really close to my grandpa. He's the reason Broadway was my dream. Like he's was obsessed with theater, got me to be obsessed with theater. And the reason you guys are watching right now is because my grandpa, he put a passion in me for theater and performing and I adore him. And so when he passed away, it was really hard. So I heard his voice and I heard my other grandpa's voice. And then it's filmed in my grandmother's house who I lost this year. And then the camera panned around the room and I saw my other grandma. So I heard or saw all four grandparents within together, a yeah. two second radius. And this is the year that I became a grandparentless person. Like this is the year that that happened for me. It was the oddest experience because it didn't even give my mind a moment to process the fact that I was sad. It just, my body reacted immediately. It was so bizarre. And I tried to vlog about it last night, but I was obviously like, it was such a weird thing that I was just kind of a mess and it's kind of useless footage. I went to talk to you about it and you were asleep 
sleep. It's no, it's fine, but now you're hearing about it and they're hearing about it. But I'm curious if anyone else has ever experienced that because it was so strange to have my body react to sadness and loss before my brain could even catch up. Like I was like, yeah. it was so weird. It was like the sound of his voice and it was immediately like, it sounded like I vomited. Like it was like, Bleh! like it was just tears. It was so weird. I've never had that happen. Anyway, I made boba today. I got um, Corey boba stuff for Christmas because we love boba. He made it yesterday and it was so good. So then we made it together this morning. It's so good. So I'm gonna have to teach you guys how to make it in a vlog at some point. So, yay. Okay, so we are in Rachel's truck, Coughlin. We're in Rachel's truck and Rachel's driving and Coco is up front and mom, dad, mom and dad, ew, I hate when people call themselves mom and dad, but like. Ew, I thought you were referring to our actual parents. No, like I literally was talking about myself. Don't worry, I stopped myself. So uh, Eric and I and Flynn are in the back seat and we're gonna go see this. <laughs> Holiday light show. Flynn's bike. very excited because we're in the big red truck. We're in Aunt Rachel's big red truck, so Flynn is extremely excited. Hey. Yeah, we're in the big red truck. So I don't actually know what this is. They're, these are were really popular this year because of COVID and restrictions. No one could go do really any holiday things. So people started opening up these holiday light drive-throughs where you just sit in your car and drive through a bunch of lights. It might be totally lame. I hope it's not because it's kind of expensive. I was like shocked at how expensive it was. Yeah. Okay. Flynn is very excited. Hi. I gotta go. Yeah. Say hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Hi, Flynn. <laughs> hi, Flynn. <laughs> Say hi, Mama. Say hi, hi Mama. Mama. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Say hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. hi Rachel. Hi, hi, Rachel. Hi, Flynn. What do you see? Look a big truck. Oh, you see a big truck. truck? This is the best view Flynn's ever had in a car. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Flynn, are you ready? Red truck? You want to see a red truck? Here comes a red truck. Are you ready? I see the truck. You see the truck? I'm on my phone because my camera is downstairs and I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it and bring it back up just to vlog. The reason I just had a heart attack is because last night, Eric was asleep and I came in here to brush my teeth and I was trying to be really, really quiet, but I had my flashlight on my phone. I picked up my toothbrush and I saw something fall off of my toothbrush and I was like, that was weird. I don't know what that could have been. A hair tie, you know, my counter's usually pretty dirty. Put toothpaste on, start brushing my teeth and then look in the sink from my flashlight and there is a huge spider crawling around my sink because a spider had fallen off of my toothbrush into the sink and that's what I saw. So just now when I set my phone down, I saw something moving, it was a fuzz, but it was just like a little fuzz that like floated. But because I saw a spider in here last night, I'm a little bit jumpy apparently. Anyway, I'm gonna take a shower right now because I just feel dirty and yucky and I wanna shower. The light show is very cute. Not worth the money in my opinion. I feel rude giving them not like a hundred stars, but like we waited in line to get in for like 45 minutes and then we drove through for like 10 minutes and it was like pretty, but like I don't think it was worth the money. 
And Flynn the whole time was like, go home, all done, go home. Like he just didn't want to be in the car anymore. He was like so over sitting in the car. So that was that experience. Um, but I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna go make some props for the show. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Eric's mad at me because I just now realized that the salad dressing guy was an actor. I thought it was just a cartoon on the salad dressing bottle. You don't know who Marlon Brando is. I thought his name was Newman. That's Paul Newman, yeah. So we don't know, you don't know. So Marlon Brando is in this too? No, we were just talking about like famous old actors and how you didn't know that one either. Yeah, I've never heard of Marlon Brando. Marlo Brando or Marlo, Marlon? Marlon Brando. I don't know what that is. Watching a movie. Godfather. Never seen that. <laughs> What happens? I haven't seen that. But anyway, apparently the guy who was on all the salad dressing bottles was an actor. And all the money from, Eric's telling me all the money from that salad dressing goes to childhood cancer? So like, I love him, but also never heard of him. I thought it was just like a cartoon person on a salad dressing bottle. I bet I have a salad dressing bottle with him on it. In my home, I'm making props. Right now, I'm also gonna make cookies soon for my friend Angela, cause she's going through it. Her family is going through it. She is so amazing and I love her so much. Let me focus on salad dressing for a minute. I thought I had salad dressing with them on it, but I don't. Anyway, my friend Angela, um, she's been super duper 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 COVID safe. She's like, we haven't gone anywhere. We don't do anything. Like they've been really, really safe and tight little bubble, but her daughter and her stepsons and her husband all have COVID. She doesn't somehow. So she is going through it and she's stressed and um, having a hard time just cause it's hard and scary. So I'm gonna make her a little happiness basket to take to her house um, tomorrow. I'm not gonna go in her house. I'm actually probably gonna put it on the sidewalk outside her house and be like, come get it after I leave. <laughs> uh, for now, I'm trying to make this curtain thing. I don't know how it's gonna go. Earlier today, I made this paper mache balloon thing. I'm waiting for it to dry. It's still very sticky and wet. I'm gonna make a very fun, stupid prop for the New Year's Eve show. So that's what I'm working on. <gasps> So I'm cutting this material, and every time I cut material, it makes me think of my mother. Because my mom used to sew my clothes for me when I was homeschooled. She'd make my dresses for me. And for some reason, the sound of scissors cutting material, it's like, I don't know, do you have a favorite noise? Like, I don't know if people, if people have favorite noise. Do you have a favorite noise, love? What? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you have a favorite noise? Like a sound that just makes you go like, ah, oh, sounds so good. There are these, the cutting boards at like Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or like craft stores where they cut the fabric, the sound is like the, that against the boards that they cut fabric on and the sound of fabric being cut for some reason just like does something for me. Like I love that. And I think it's because I was so excited as a kid, I'd get to go pick out the material. Like I'd get to go in the whole fabric store, pick out whatever material I wanted and my mom would make me a dress with whatever material I wanted. That sound was the sound of them like cutting it for me to take home so that my mom could create a dress and that was so exciting to me. So now whenever I cut material, it makes me think of that. Thing. I'm gonna show you what it does, but I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it in the show, but I'm just gonna show you how crazy and weird my brain is when I go into Miranda mode and get ideas for live shows, all right? This is how weird I am. I'm not gonna tell you what that's for. <laughs> such a weirdo. All right, I just made cookies. It is almost one in the morning. I'm gonna eat my cookies and go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the office in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. So I did a couple props and there's a lot more work to do before the New Year's Eve show. Get your tickets if you haven't already. It's gonna be a fun, very weird night. But yeah, today was fun. It, it's, you know what? Here's the thing. I feel like people get post Christmas day blues. Like the day after Christmas, everyone's usually like, oh, Christmas is over and all that build up and now it's all done and people get so sad. This might be one of the first years ever where I don't feel that way. I don't feel like, oh my God, I'm so sad Christmas is over. 
And I think it has to do with the fact that I celebrate Christmas so early. I decorate like the beginning of November. I start celebrating the beginning of November. By the time it's done, I'm just kind of like, cool, I got to do Christmas. And like, I feel like I got my fill and I'm not sick of it. Like if Christmas time were to keep going, I'd be excited. But since it's over, I'm kind of just like, cool. That was a great Christmas time. Like I really enjoyed Christmas time for like two months. Um, but it was also fun to kind of like ease out of Christmas by like going to the light show today. And anyway, I'm also very distracted right now by being very busy with this New Year's Eve show. So I don't really have time to think about how Christmas is over. Uh, I love you guys. And thank you for all of the excitement for my mother yesterday in my Christmas video. If you haven't seen it already, my mom freaked out over these like little tiny Shopkin toys. And I loved seeing everyone's reaction to my mom being so funny. So thank you for that. It made me very happy. And I guess that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I didn't film very much, I don't think, but I love you and <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I need to go to bed. I'm very tired. Good night. Bye.